Hi, Tony Poulos here. Today I'm with Jonas Hansen, who is the International Sales and Business Development Director for Comba Telecom. Hi, Jonas. You recently launched a new antenna platform you call HeliFeed. Can you tell me a little more about it? Yes, of course. Uh, for Comba Telecom and also for the mobile industry, it's very important with sustainability. And uh, we're here and we're introducing a new platform that uh, addresses this sustainability, uh, energy savings, uh, carbon dioxide uh, reduction. And that is the background why we have introduced and developed this new antenna platform. So how can a passive device such as an antenna save energy and reduce CO2 emissions for an MNO? It's a good, very good question because an antenna, a normal traditional base station antenna, it has inherent losses. And if you have losses in the antenna and you have to have a certain output power, you need to compensate for that. And we know that two thirds of the radiated uh, or the electrical power consumption in the mobile network is consumed by the radio base stations out in the countryside. So it's very important to reduce the power consumption in the radio. So the more losses that you have in the antenna, the more power the radio needs to compensate for and thereby consume more electrical power. So by reducing the losses and increasing the efficiency in the antennas, the power consumption can be saved in those radios. So it, it's very simple. How do you assess sustainability over the whole life cycle of a product such as an antenna? I mean, we are introducing this new modular phase shifter. And in this new phase shifter with low losses and, and more efficient, we are also introducing new materials, new production processes, and, and those processes and new materials leads to less carbon dioxide emission because of less soldering points. We are also having less emission in, in, in the production and the uh, material in the antenna is 100% recyclable. So this is very new and we know that traditionally it's been very difficult to do. So what are the benefits an MNO can have with this new technology compared to, say, a traditional antenna? With this new technology, uh, it applies to both low band and high band. And that is, uh, we, we can save between 0.5 dB to 1.5 dB. And with that saving, we can either reduce the power of the radios that is transmitting on the site, or we can use that extra gain in order to build the sites a little bit more in distance. And that will save, but if we are reducing the site grid, that is the normal case, we will be able to save up to 1,000 kilowatts hour per year per site for a typical radio configuration. And those 1,000 kilowatt hours corresponds to between five and seven percent. So it's an immense amount of power and electrical power that we can save. We are also, we can translate that into 1,000 kilos of carbon dioxide per year per site. So, so it's, a, it's a big saving uh, what we can do with this new HeliFeed platform. I see you're also showcasing 5G massive MIMO antennas and subsystems here. Can you tell us what Combra is doing in this space and where are you in terms of actual deliveries of these types of antennas? Yeah. With the massive MIMO 5G system, we are working together with the major OEMs in the space. And we are helping them to deliver the most cost efficient and energy efficient solution. And with that, we are providing massive MIMO into their radios. With regards to shipments of the HeliFeed product, we have actually already shipped tens of thousands of antennas out in this market. So we are already walking this path of sustainability and trying to make our operators and customers reach the targets of net zero. And when it comes to the European COP operators, we have done successful testing already with these new platforms. We are really, really happy with this. Janus, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you very much for asking.